Right, good morning everyone. Now I know I haven't done the flower in a while, so I'm going to do one this morning. I've got some uh, beige feathers. So it's like a really light peach, pinky trim. Some bits and pieces. And I've even got this, which is the satin ribbon. So, oh, and I've got these. I just wanted to see how these are done. These were the cabochons I made yesterday. Because I'm going to use one, I think. Well, I'm not sure. How off the colour I did yesterday from the heart. Oh, they're quite nice. Quite nice. Paint peels off of uh, glass easily. Or easy enough. All I did with these, I just dipped them in. Dip them in the uh, deck, you know, with the colour. Yeah, they're all right. I'm happy with those. Some beautiful colours in them. Beautiful. Let's wait that. Clean. So these are what I, I mean about you could pour your paints and make loads of these. They're quite nice. I think this has got more of the peach colour in that one. Although I do like that. Yeah, we'll go for that one, I think. Yeah, I like that. But I do like them. I think they've come out really well. So what I'm going to do, get rid of that. Now, I've got this trim. And it's flat lace, of course. And I'm going to need at least um, 16 inches of trim. So that's 8, 16. Mm, I'm going to do 20. That's about there. 20 inches, sorry. So that's that. And now what I'm going to do is to shorten this because I don't want a, too, a flower too wide. Like that. And we'll just cut down to there. Now I do need a needle and thread. Again, I'm just using up the bits and pieces I have lying about. Uh, when I get the collection, I start making flowers. And I know you lot like flowers. But please, you know, don't stop watching just because I'm now, you know, I'm mixing uh, paint ones as well, doing paint ones. And because... You don't know what might perk your interest. So, let's have a look. That's the right way. Shiniest side is the right way. Just going to do a normal running stitch for this flower. Um, There we go. This is like an embroidered chiffon and it is really nice. Well, not a chiffon, an embroidered organza, put it that way. And as you know, I always like a nice ruffle. Now, don't stop coming to the shop. We're still open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 
and we do have some gorgeous jewellery in at the moment for crafting we don't sell it like I said before we don't sell it for um, to wear though you can wear most of what we sell I only buy it in to craft with that's why you're getting it cheaper than the high street so please take advantage of that if you can I do understand fully that not everybody's got money but some have and want to still continue spending and uh, you know we've got some gorgeous laces I've just put a wad of laces up um, there's over 40 yards of laces for £35 in fact there's about 45 50 yards I'd say more 45 50 of all different kinds of ribbon uh, ribbon laces that you would it could definitely cost you a lot more than that. It's a, a vintage lot as well. So I've just put it up for sale. And I've got several other bits and pieces to do as well. Right, I'm just going to dob a glue. Oh, well it would be if I could put the glue there. Where is it? There's my glue stick. Oh, I think that needs tacking out. There we go. I'm just putting a little tiny thing. I'm not sure, is it today when we find out what's happening? Can we move about? <laughs> Probably not. But hey ho, we can uh, keep crafting, keep us sane, keep your mind occupied. That's what you've got to do. Now that's a nice ruffle in that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, what I've got here is some uh, little flowers. Like that, which I think I'm going to just stick in the middle. Like that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's pretty. I've got to find a flower centre for that. I was going to use that, but it doesn't match. There's too much purple in it. And all the others are the same. But what I'm going to do, I think, will do something different. I've got these gorgeous coloured pearls, which I think are perfect for it. So I'm just going to pop these pearls on here Always make sure your hole is to the side Oh that's pretty, isn't that pretty? Okay So we can just move that out of the way for now and let me just see. Do I want to add anything to it? Oh, that would have been nice. No, you needed a bit a bit of a contrast. I'm go I am going to add some feathers. <laughs> now, don't waste those. They make good butterflies. Mmm, they do. I'm just going to turn that over and I'm going to put that one there and I'm going to use two feathers in this one I think <laughs> they're just beautiful feathers and we only sell the best the marabou ones these are absolutely gorgeous pull that down a little bit don't want them too sticking up from the flower then I have um a bit of this felt I'm just going to cut see how I'm keeping the scissors straight but turning the fabric that'll do the underneath doesn't have to match anything but if you've got matching felt you can put that on 
and just pop that on the middle. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, and what that needs, I think, uh, is a, a stick pin to go with it. Now, just bear with me. So I've got my little pearly stick pin here. Um, and just, oh look, I've got these. That's nice. That can go with that. That colour matches, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty, that. So, let's have a look, see what else we've got in here. Nope. Let's see if we've got anything in. Oh, I like that one. Oh, look at that. There's a contrast, something different. That's too bulky for that particular flower, though. But, ah, I've got that. Yes, we can do that and then put a roundel, possibly a bead cap of some sort in it as well. So let's get our roundels out. And we want one we can see, so we don't want one that's not... Um, oh, I don't know about that. Do we actually need a diamante one? Oh, I don't like that one. I mean, I like it, but not for this. Do you know what? I'm just going to put a tiny one on first to bling this up. I'm one of those. Now I've changed my mind about that, so hang on. I think I need a crystal. Let me just see what. Ooh. There, a little bit of contrast, maybe. We'll see what it looks like. I like the patterns in that bit. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And... Let me see if I can find another one for the bottom section. It needs the same one as the top. One of those small ones. Oh, oh, there's a square one. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I like that. It's different. Different. <laughs> Right, what I'm going to do is as I put that on, twist, just twist the bead and then put that in place and then just scrape away any excess glue and that's fine. I want that to be shown, I don't want it to ha oh that's, that's gorgeous, look at that, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I like that, okay. So we've got that. I just feel there's something missing though. Uh, let me see what's missing. I think I'm going to use a little bit of this. I just love this trim. And you. Sorry, I had to change the battery. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I've got a little bit of this. And I just like it's got a pattern to it. It's not plain or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is to, and I don't want to waste any of it, is to cut a piece off like that. Bring these two sections together. Just pop a bit of glue on them. Twist. And then you cut the excess off. And you're left with a little bow.
like that and it's just a little bit more decoration like that that's pretty yeah I like that and uh, that will be in the shop for sale shortly so let's just have a look they're really pretty and I think I've got enough now to do another one yeah we're just going to use this up let's do two of them maybe just like that and there you go aren't they gorgeous yeah I like them I actually do like that bead better but hey you know two shabby sheet flowers they'll be in the shop shortly thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now